Hello again. Um, we're going to be uh, doing a lab today on um, vSphere 4 lab with uh, VMware Workstation 7. Um, although it was possible to um, to put ESX server into VMware Workstation 6.5, um, it wasn't exactly easy. You had to go in, you had to edit some VMX files and do some other things. Um, whereas with VMware Workstation 7, they've changed all of that into a nice little box that you just put a dot in and it does it for you. Uh, this is the network that we're going to be playing around with today. We've got two ESX boxes, ESX1 and ESX2. Uh, we have three networks that we're setting up. We have one here, which is the red lines, which you can see here is the management network. We then have our kind of VM store network, which is where all our storage is, which is on the uh, yellow network. And then finally, on the uh, green network cards, if you like, we have our uh, virtual machines themselves. That's what we're going to be setting up. Let's give it a go. So I'm doing a new team. First one's going to be a new virtual machine. And there's the tick box I was talking about. There's no other versions on here, just ESX Server 4. Let's change the path. And we're going to call it ESX 1. And we're going to set up the second one as a clone of the first one. Which is around here somewhere. There it is. Let's put the path in. And we're going to call this ESX2. The next one is again a clone. This one is a clone of a template I've already set up. This one, however, is going to be called vCenter. And it's going to be running vCenter for us. So what have we set up so far? We've done that one, done that one, and done that one. We need to do open file next. Okay. We want three lands, remember, one for management, one for the SAN, and one for the VMs. I'm not going to put them in their networks for the moment. So, one for management, one for the SAN, and another one for the VM network itself. Now, I'll go back in and place them all in the management network. As you can see, especially the ESX servers um, and OpenFiler, although the ESX servers have got three network cards in the final diagram, here they've just got one. Eventually they will have three. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is change that to boot from the ISO image that I've downloaded from um, VMware's website. Just the latest build of ESX server. So now I've um, put in a CD if you like and do control alt and insert
and now it's booting off CD so I want to install it in graphical mode let's turn this one off for the moment and let's turn open filer off as well but we'll leave vCenter booting up as you can see the installers now going through while that's going on let's log on we've got some changes to make to the vCenter server template before it's actually viable so welcome to the ESX installer Uh, we haven't got any custom drivers because we're installing it in a VM so it knows all about the hardware already if you had some sort of three-way controller or something along those lines then uh, you'd put yes to there and then you click add and then add the drivers it's very similar to the way that Windows asks you to press F8 during the install um, load system drivers yes that's going through its thing let's check on the vCenter server it's still booting up at the moment a little bit better. Let's have a play with it now. Okay, first thing I want to do, let's minimize that, is change the uh, IP address information. Now, going from the diagram, this is the vCenter server, so that's what we're setting it up with. preferred DNS server. Now um, the vCenter server I'm going to be setting up as uh, the DNS server. Um, you wouldn't probably do this in production, you certainly wouldn't make it a domain controller um, but uh, you leave that, that DNS information blank because when you install DNS server it automatically puts the uh, local host IP address in there of 127.0.0.1 okay um, that's done now I've got a few things to do first let's change the computer name uh, we're going to call it vCenter change the DNS suffix change the work group it doesn't really matter because none of it's really aware of work groups but that's what we're going to have it on so welcome to the cookie workgroup it's going to ask you to reboot and we don't really want to for the moment we've got a few more things to do yet um, the first thing we're going to do is upgrade the virtual tools, so VMware tools that's on at the moment while that's doing let's have a look to see how ESX is going okay so it's loaded the drivers in we're going to have this as an evaluation copy we've only got one network card in here for the moment okay let's set up the IP information 